Today I'm going to show you why, in my opinion, it's a no-brainer to run the latest EarnApp Plus app on your computer to earn an extra 60 to 120 US dollars every year with exactly zero effort. But before we get to that, as always, let's get the usual disclaimer out of the way. Everything I share in this video is my personal opinion and in no way financial or professional advice of any kind. You should always do your own research, consult certified professionals, draw your own conclusions and make your own decisions. My name is Christian Rauchenwald and as mentioned today I'm going to show you how you can earn an extra 60 to 120 US dollars on top of EarnApp's regular variable earnings that you receive for running their regular app on one of your devices as well. Let's start off by covering why exactly EarnApp is willing to pay you for running their app on your Windows, Linux, macOS, Android or iOS device and why they are willing to pay you even more if you run EarnApp Plus on your Windows computer as well. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that one of my favorite type of projects are bandwidth sharing apps. So applications that you can run on your device that pay you for routing traffic through your device, similar to a proxy server or VPN. EarnApp is one of those bandwidth sharing apps and their client, which you can by the way download by following the link in the video description down below, is currently, as mentioned, available on Windows, macOS, Linux, Raspberry Pi, iOS and Android. And it works just like all the other bandwidth sharing apps that you can by the way run parallel to EarnApp to earn from multiple sources at the same time. The, in quotes, problem with most of these bandwidth sharing apps is that earnings vary based on how many users in your country are currently running a specific bandwidth sharing app and how many of the paying clients of that provider are currently looking for connections in your country. As a result, it's next to impossible to estimate how much you are going to earn exactly with each specific app and it makes at least in my opinion sense to just run all of them no matter if you reach a payout once per month or only once per year because at the end of the day it's all just extra money that you get for simply having an app installed on your device. Now before we cover how exactly EarnApp Plus is different from all those regular bandwidth sharing apps, don't forget to like, subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. That said, back to what makes EarnApp Plus different from regular bandwidth sharing apps, EarnApp Plus follows a different approach and instead of paying you only for the exact amount of data that gets routed through your device, EarnApp Plus simply pays you a fixed amount per month that only depends on how many hours you keep the app running on your Windows computer. The app is in this case then not used to route general traffic through your connection, but to use Google Chrome in the background and scrape website content. Right now, EarnApp Plus users in the US receive 10 US dollars per month, users within the European Union receive 7 US dollars per month and users in all other countries receive 5 US dollars per month for running EarnApp Plus on their Windows computer for a total of 60 to 100 US dollars you can get extra every year. Those amounts could however change in the future and that's why next to the download and sign up link for EarnApp and all the other bandwidth sharing apps I'm personally using, you can also find a link to the latest monthly rates down in the video description below. And if you're wondering what exactly EarnApp and EarnApp Plus are doing with your computers or devices resources, I'd recommend that you read the different descriptions that are shown in the app carefully or before installing the app you can use the link that you can also find in the video description down below to check out EarnApp's official FAQ that cover everything from how the apps are working to how earnings are calculated. That said, there are however also a few things to consider before you get started. In order to qualify for the full payment from EarnApp Plus, your PC has to run 24 hours per day for a 30 day period and you have to have Google Chrome installed on your computer. Although Chrome doesn't have to be your default browser, it just has to be installed on the device. If your PC is online for less than 24 hours per day, you also will only receive a partial payment and if your computer is online for less than 12 hours per day, you won't get any payment at all from EarnApp Plus. 
In other words, while the regular EarnApp app pays you based on the exact data bandwidth, no matter how many hours per day you are running the app, EarnApp Plus makes sense if you have a Windows computer that anyways already runs at least 12 hours per day for other reasons. In our case, we have a Windows machine running 24 seven because it also hosts a StoreJ node, which is another crypto project that pays you for sharing unused storage space and a few other things like our Pi network node. Don't worry, however, even if you do not have a computer that's running at least 12 hours per day, you can still install EarnApp and other bandwidth sharing apps and just have them run in the background every time you turn on your computer to get paid depending on the actual bandwidth that the app uses. Obviously, you'll earn less this way, but if your PC isn't running anyways for some other reason, the additional electricity costs makes it hard to justify running a PC 24-7 just for the bandwidth sharing apps. Besides all of that, another important thing to know is that each EarnApp user can run EarnApp Plus only on one computer. So while you could run the regular EarnApp client on your phone and other devices at the same time, you can only get that fixed extra income once. And just in case it's not clear, you can obviously also run EarnApp and other bandwidth sharing apps on other devices like your phone as well, since most of them offer at least a client for Android as well. Now in order to set up EarnApp Plus on your computer, all you have to do is use the link in the video description down below to create your account, download the installer and install the app. Then if you're installing it on Windows during the first start of the app, you'll be asked if you would like to enable the fixed income EarnApp Plus offers or if you would rather receive the flexible income depending on the actual bandwidth used. And if you've done all those steps properly and also linked the app with your actual EarnApp account, you should see your device in your EarnApp dashboard. There you'll then either see the US dollar amount per gigabyte of bandwidth shared or per month that you are currently earning in combination with either the amount of data shared or the uptime of the device, depending on the option you chose when you started the EarnApp app. In my case, you can see that I have currently two devices listed. The first is one of our Helium network hotspots that thanks to Cortex's so-called flexi mining also supports running apps like EarnApp on the hotspot and that gets paid based on the amount of data transferred. And the second is the app I just installed on our Windows PC a couple of hours ago and that I configured for the fixed income EarnApp Plus has to offer. That's it for today. If you have any questions about EarnApp or EarnApp Plus, I recommend that you use the link in the video description down below to check out the official FAQ or simply leave a comment below this video. Thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye bye.